From a shock one nil defeat away to Southampton this past weekend with a resounding 5 0 win at home to Newcastle United. Goals from Gabriel Jesus, Riyad Mahrez, David Silva, Raheem Sterling, and an own goal from Federico Fernandez helped City to seal a 5 0 win at the Etihad Stadium. 34 year old David Silva put in an outstanding performance with one goal and two assists. He is now being involved in 151 goals in 306 Premier League appearances. Look, what can we really say about David Silva? Where does he rank among the all-time great midfielders in the league? You have to put him right in that list. It's probably, you can't call five players for the all-time midfielders without calling David Silva's name. Mm. I mean, you can think of the Paul Scholes, the Steven Gerrard, the Frank Lampard, but then the David Silva's must enter that list, the Ayaturis must enter that list. Now, he's an elite player, he's been doing it for years and years again he should be retiring very soon true but he's showing that he still got it i mean this is david silver that he has played very limited number of games but yesterday we we didn't have a man city masterclass. Hmm. we had a david silver masterclass. Master i mean because exactly. kevin de bruyne just got himself a, a one assist and he wasn't as instrumental as david silver mm -hmm. was in that game uh the passes are still sublime and this is for a 30 plus old man as Very people true. would say mm -hmm. <laughs> that is in the later stages of his career and he's dropping wonderful wonderful results and the more amazing thing with the way man city play is that when they play you it feels like oh they are giving you a chance to actually express yourself hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but then you really can't do anything with the ball because yeah. I, I saw the game yesterday and manchester city they play this open game where you feel like you still have a chance but then mm. there's one goal two three four five and it is uh, it's an astonishing work that they've done so far. Additionally, we, the work that Pep Guardiola has done with the team, this Manchester City side is the first to have five plus players mm -hmm. that have scored 10 league goals in the season. You have Aguero, you have Gabriel Jesus, you have Raheem Sterling, you have Riyad Mahrez, you have Kevin De Bruyne, mm -hmm. all hitting 10 plus goals in a single campaign. No other yeah. team, for the Liverpool, you have just the front three. Exactly. Or the horsemen, as people, yeah, <laughs> as exactly. people like to call them. Those ones, but you, you see, for a team like City that everybody is playing everybody is it, there's this teamwork there's this depth across board it's beautiful to watch and david silva in that miss just makes everything all the more magical all right now look <laughs> from one great city midfielder to another kevin de Bruyne is the first player to provide 18 plus assists in multiple premier league seasons he provided 18 assists in the 2016 2017 season he has provided 18 assists this season all that is left is for him to match or break Thierry Henry's record about 20 assists in a Premier League season. Can Kevin De Bruyne do that? If any man can do it, Kevin can do it. I mean, mm. from his exploits back in Germany, that he still holds, he still holds a very good record there that exactly. Thomas Muller is still trying to, yeah. to work with. I mean, it shows you that this man is talented and with the crop of players that he has, he can now express himself. He's a beautiful player to watch. You see him on and off the ball, his body movements, his ball control, his technique, his style. Look at his free kicks. Hmm. He, he's got it all when you look at it. And you see sometimes he passes the ball and maybe Ryan Sterling doesn't move towards it and he's so, he's so animated with the way that he responds to him. Like, Go get the ball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like we've seen so many times. <laughs> You've seen it time and time again. And if there's anyone that can do it, he can. And with a coach like Pep Guardiola that understands him and that works with him and that knows how to bring the better part out of Kevin, Kevin De Bruyne. I don't, I don't think there's any height he can reach for that. Mm. It, he's been the best for many years, 2013, 14, 15. Year in and year out, he's been delivering. And if there's anybody that can break Thierry Henry's uh, record, it will be Kevin De Bruyne. Nobody else, really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Look, we'll be looking forward to that. Four games left. Let's see if Kevin De Bruyne can actually break the Kings assist record. Now moving over to City's rivals. Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool side clinched 92 points last night with a 3-1 win away against Brighton Hove and Albion. A brace from Mohamed Salah and a goal by Jordan Henderson was enough to seal a win against Brighton who pulled a goal back just before halftime through Leandro Trossard. Liverpool is now four wins away from breaking Manchester City's record points tally of 100 set at the end of the 2017-18 season. If Liverpool wins all four games left, they will end the season with 100 and four points. Let's listen to Jurgen Klopp's thoughts on breaking the record and Salah's chase for the Golden Boots. What can I say? When I think about when I think about the next four opponents and and look at them and think we will we will get there twelve, ten, or whatever points. I I, I never did that. I can't do that. We, we play against Burnley. Burnley is a, is a result machine, obviously. Uh, 
couldn't respect more what they are doing. Uh, played away, one against West Ham, come out to us and they'll fight with all they have. So that's what we have to do as well. After that, we play Arsenal in a really good moment. After that, we play against Chelsea in a really good moment. Fine. How could I assume we get all these points? He's a striker. How can it not be a, a motivation for him? That's clear. But uh, maybe he was in the last two years, he won the Golden Boot. Last year, he shared a bit more and uh, I mean, with Sadio and, and, and um, Pierre um, with Oba. And um, the, so that's always important. It's important for Sadio and all that stuff that's normal. But in the end, um, you only can. Can, uh, can score goals when you perform well, and he did that tonight. And um, so that was that was really good. And apart from that, it's all fine. Um, I cannot. As I always said, if you are too focused on goals, but they're not are, if you're too focused on it, then you then you then you don't move enough that you can be in the right situations. But the goals we scored tonight, uh, they were really good, and we had a lot to move and to score the goals. So that's nice. And 250 goals, by the way, is really exceptional. So, uh, imagine where I would be if, they, if uh, these boys would not play for me. Wow. The situation minus 250 goals. <laughs> Jamie, Vardy currently leads the race for the Golden Boots with 22 goals and is followed closely by Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, who has 20 goals, trailed by Danny Ings, who has 18 goals, and Mo Salah with 17 goals. Now, Tom, do you think Salah has what it takes to actually run away with the Golden Boots? Of course, Salah has what it takes when you compare him with the other players. I mean, they're all natural goal scorers, but what makes Salah have the edge is the team that he plays for. Liverpool. They are intense. You see the game yesterday. Intensity from the beginning to the end. And before I continue that, I would like to also point out that in the game yesterday, we saw a lot of Naby Keita, hmm. which we had not seen all season long. And because of the speculations that Alcantara might be coming into Liverpool exactly, and everything, yeah. all the issues surrounding that. But he also delivered yesterday Beautiful, beautiful football from Navigator. Coming back to Salah, when he has players like Navigator, Henderson, Fabinho, uh, Firmino that drops down mm -hmm. to pick up the ball and also delivers to him, it is very possible. But with players like Jamie Vardy, for example, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, these guys know, they have this eye for where the goal is. They are always going to keep crunching in and crunching in for the goals. Jamie Vardy might not have the best team in Leicester City. True. Arsenal might not be the, the team that is on form the most, but mm -hmm. these strikers, they know how to score the goals. But when you look at the team effort that puts into play, Liverpool bring in something special. And if they can keep it up for the next four games, of course, Salah can overtake. All right. Now, do you think Manchester City, rather, Liverpool has what it takes to break Manchester City's record? Well, Current record stands at 100, right? Yes. With four games left, look, if they win those four games, they get 104, 104. points. You know, I was, I was wondering last night when I saw the squad put up against Brighton, I thought I would see more of the likes of Harvey Elliott and Curtis Jones <laughs> playing. But then I saw Chamberlain, Salah, Femme, and I was wondering what's going on. And that is the most behind. Look, I'm not buying anything you're going to lose. <laughs> if he says he's not chasing that, obviously he's chasing that with the squad he has been putting out so far. Yes. Four games left. They face us now. They face Aston Villa later on. They face, um, rather, yeah, exactly. They face Watford as well. Yes. Do you think they have what it takes? I mean, if there's any team that has shown what resilience looks like, it will be Liverpool this season from September towards October, November, when the games, the goals weren't coming in as much. One, one new, two, one, and everything. But they kept bringing in those goals. And when you look at the squad that Klopp has been assembling in recent weeks, he's not trying to relent. He's won the league already. Mm -hmm. He's broken many records. But this is another record that he wants to win. And knowing him very well, it is animated appeal. I'm sure he will go on for winning the league. And for getting all maximum points and finishing with 104, which will be a new record that has never been achieved before. If anybody can do it, Jürgen Klopp can do it. All right, greatly. Now, let's quickly take a look at the results from last night and also taking a look at the fixtures going on today. So apart from the match between Brighton and Liverpool yesterday and also the match between Manchester City and Newcastle United, we had two other fixtures which did take place. You can see Sheffield United one nil win against Wolverhampton Wanderers. West Ham United lost at home to Burnley. Any surprise right there? No surprises. Uh, the only surprise would have been the West Ham Burnley game. It was, it was a bit of a drab, uh, really. I expected more animation, more activity going on, but it felt a bit slow and sluggish up until uh, J. Rodriguez got the goal. It wasn't bad. All right, now taking a look at today's 
fixtures. Look, we've got great matches to look forward to, as you can see. Bournemouth versus Tottenham Hotspur. Everton at home to Southampton. Aston Villa at home to Manchester United. The big game right there has to be Aston Villa versus Manchester United. Villa trying to survive relegation. United pushing for Champions, Champions League, League football. Sports. One question. What is your prediction for this game? Manchester United will win it. But everybody wants to see Jack Grealish and <laughs> a future with mm -hmm. Manchester United. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, there's also the Everton and Southampton that we, we want to see because both teams, uh, they have wonderful players. Uh, Danny Ings has also been firing on all cylinders, so exactly. we expect to see how we will match up against Carlo Ancelotti's Everton side. And for other, for the Manchester United game particularly, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been all around the news and saying, oh, he's going to assemble a good squad, oh, he's not, he's not going to rush it. But we all know Manchester United, they are trailing uh, the likes of Chelsea and Leicester City. They have to make up for those points. Four games left, you cannot afford to lose points. And with an Aston Villa that is down and almost out, Manchester United might just be the team to send them packing. All right, look, that's all we have on the show today. We have to run out of the studio. I hope you enjoyed the package today. Tomwa, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. All right, great. Look, the conversation continues on social media at Plus TV Africa across all platforms. You can follow me on social media as well at Opeyadibari. This is Plus TV Africa. Big stories live here.